I, uh, I love the back rooms. It's one of my favorite horror internet things that have come out in like recent memory. It's this perfect blend of surreal, unsettling eeriness mixed with a, a strange vibe of nostalgia. It creates this uh, perfect concoction, just inexplicable terror. And today I'm counting down some of the creepiest back rooms found footage on the internet. I'm your host James, and these are the top 10 back rooms found footage you were never meant to see. And we're gonna start off the list with a video up uploaded on the YouTube channel Matt Studios. This one features something very similar to the backrooms internet phenomenon, uh, the pool rooms. Large, oddly constructed indoor swim pools that have an odd dreamlike feel to them. But this video uh, combines both, which I really like. We start off in a space very similar to your standard backrooms setting. Our camera person roams through a large empty office space with the garish yellow lighting and dull buttons of the cheap VHS camera rolling. Soon, they find a small, dark, square-shaped passage in one of the walls, and they squat down to start crawling through it. And on the other side, they find themselves in this large indoor pool area. It's, it's stuff like this that I really love about these types of videos. You find yourself asking questions like, why was this place constructed in this way? Why are there corridors that seem to lead nowhere, and how is is it that you can only access the pool through a crawl space in an office building? Your brain just can't wrap itself around it. And it creates this unsettling feeling in the pit of your stomach. Something is off. You just can't quite explain why. And the pool room is an eerie world in its own. Pleasant looking at first glance, but the more it's explored, the more ominous it feels with its unlit corridors leading to and containing who knows what. Next up, we have the Backrooms informational video. This one is brought to us by the one who started it all, Kane Pixels. I guess he didn't really start it, but definitely popularized it. And it's another super well done video, very eerie and unsettling. This one starts off as an informational video video, the type of instructional video you'd watch when starting a new job, specifically one that involves some type of danger or risk to your health. And the back rooms are certainly dangerous. This video really builds on the lore of the back rooms, which is definitely interesting. Although I do like the mystery surrounding the idea, the, the unknown is what we often fear most of all, which I, I think the back rooms exemplifies perfectly. And this video does a good job of giving you more context while not revealing it too much. There's still a lot that your brain is trying to fill in. There's something really unsettling about the opening instructional video portion of this video though. It's so strange in context, but there's something familiar about it as well. It has the grain of an old VHS tape you'd watch in your elementary school science class, but there's something off about it, almost dreamlike once again. And I'll probably say this a lot in this video, but I think that's what the Backrooms does so well. It's a mix of the unknown, an unsettling, isolating space between spaces mixed with that nostalgia. Number eight on the list, we have found footage number one uploaded to YouTube by Higana. This is just a very well done backrooms video. You have all the hallmarks here, the liminal space, the yellow lighting, and this one, uh, we get the horrifying backroom entity. There's a shot where you just see it standing off in the distance, making that unnatural, heavily distorted howling sound. And we get a fantastic jump scare here where the camera person turns away just for a second. And when they turn back, the thing is way closer than it was before, and it's coming for them. Imagining just being in this situation is utterly chilling. I gotta, I gotta play a Backrooms VR game or something. Anyone ever done that? Let me know. It would just be amazing. I've never even tried VR before, so Backrooms version that would be uh, quite the first time experience. Probably not recommended either. Next on the list, we have Shifting Rooms. This one was uploaded by the Odd Real YouTube channel, and it's another one that combines the Backrooms with a Pool Rooms type liminal space. It's, uh, it's it's a very ominous video. All these videos are pretty ominous, but this one is visually darker. There's just something that feels really dark about it. It starts off with the cameraman filming an old PC computer, when suddenly they're in an odd room and discover a tunnel, and they start sliding into it. it. Reminds me of one of those tube slides from when I was a kid, but smaller, more
more claustrophobic. You also hear what sounds to be uh, heavily reverberated audio from the Disney Alice in Wonderland cartoon, which really adds to the theme of this person entering into a different, strange dimension. Once they're out of the tunnel, they find themselves in a darkly lit indoor pool area, and then they start exploring this strange space where there are these thin, dark corridors built into the walls. Again, why is this building constructed? Again, what has this building been constructed for, and what purpose does it serve? It's, it's unknown. And throughout the video, you hear audio which seems to be coming from some unknown source as you continue moving through this large, cold, empty building. Great job on the odd reel. Definitely worth checking out this one. All right, next up we have soup. This next video is brought to us by YouTube creator Crispy VFX. Uh, it's brilliant because it combines the back rooms with one of the internet's most infamously disturbing videos, and it's done really well. When it hits, it hits. Have you ever seen a creepy video online in some drab, ominous looking room and thought, what if, what if I found myself in the same building where this video is, right in this eerie place that I'm thankfully separated from, just observing it through my computer screen? Well, this POV found footage style video places the viewer in that exact situation. Ever seen that weird old video, the guy eating ramen noodles with the mysterious man in the costume standing behind him? Well, this video takes us from the back rooms into that space. Fantastic idea and uh, really well executed. This looks like old grimy VHS footage and the sound design is so unsettling. I think that's another aspect that makes up not just a good back rooms video, but any good scary, but uh, any good scary video. Next up we have wall holes. This video uploaded by the YouTuber Kaufman just came out recently and I think it's well worth a watch. I like this one because it's just simple but effective. I find the back rooms themselves far more eerie than the weird monsters and the party goers and all that. Just give me this open space with dull yellow lighting, buzzing of the overhead lights, and some mysterious dark ominous areas that are just unlit for some unknown reason. Maybe some strange noises in the distance and uh, I'm uncomfortable already. And here we get exactly that. You also hear the person behind the camera whispering indistinguishably throughout the entire video, which gives the video this uh, still unsettling quality while also being kind of hypnotic at the same time. It almost lulls you into a sense of calm and then you get the ending. I don't want to spoil it for you though, so uh, it's nothing crazy or anything, but it just sends a slight shiver up your spine. Uh, this next one was uploaded by YouTuber Reverse Logic and is simply titled Backrooms Found Footage. What I love about this one is how realistic the depiction of the backrooms looks. Some backrooms videos have a tendency of looking a little too strange and uh, video game-esque, but this one has that perfect blend of realism with something just slightly off about the office space's layout that makes it feel unnerving. We get our cameraman who falls into the back rooms and spends most of the video moving through the large, dully lit, empty spaces, but what sets this one apart is the downright bone-chilling entity that seems to be stalking him through the empty halls. This thing is nightmarish, far creepier than the standard wiry, computer-generated entity you typically see. It's ghostly and oddly shaped, but still looks like something that could exist in our three-dimensional reality. Uh, really off-putting stuff. At number three, we have level 232. This one was uploaded by YouTuber Ruster and takes place in a unique setting, a large, empty grocery store. This is an even more familiar environment than the empty office building we typically see in Backrooms videos. Most of us spend a fair amount of time at the grocery store, but that familiar setting feels nightmarish when you make it completely void of people and make the length of the space seemingly endless Empty aisles upon empty aisles with no end in sight. You also hear old timey music echoing through the space, which adds another surreal layer to the whole thing. At one point, our cameraman reaches the sliding doors that are the exit, but they won't open. And at his feet are what look to be various tools other unfortunate souls have used in an attempt to pry the doors open. And then an alarm goes off, all the lights are cut, and now we're just standing in silence. Nothing but a faint echo of someone or something begins to emanate from the depths of the darkness and what comes out of it you'll just have to watch 
find out. At number two, we have another pretty well-known backrooms video from Kane Pixels, found footage number two. We start with the camera woman placing several items into a taped off portion of the floor. The items simply go right through the concrete into some unknown space below, and she falls into the floor, ending up in the terrifying realm of the backrooms. You get some really haunting imagery here. She enters into a room where there are these chairs with legs that are just too long, sitting alone in the middle of a large room. She enters a large area where there's a car that's been smashed up and is kind of formed into the wall. And she comes across one of those harrowing entities that just makes you shudder. What's really impressive here, again, is how real it all looks. Kane Pixel's videos look like they were really shot in a large, empty office space and then maybe enhanced with CG for certain parts. But it all looks like it was shot in camera uh, to me, which is pretty fantastic. Of course, the VHS grain and low quality helps mask the computer generated elements, but uh, still very, very well done. And at number one, we have level 122. This one is absolutely fantastic. Props to Ruster once again here. This is one of the coolest backrooms videos I've ever seen. It just feels like you're watching an actual nightmare play out on screen. We start with our cameraman entering into what looks to be a darkly lit parking garage. He finds an escalator and as he begins ascending it, lights from above slowly begin turning on and the few that were on below in the parking garage turn off, just leaving nothing but darkness down there. This video does a great job of creating this ominous suspense as he enters into different areas and lights slowly turn on. You, you start to feel a sense of unease. Your mind starts coming up with images of what you might see as your eyes attempt to adjust to the new environment. Is that a person in that dark corner over there? It's very effective. And you get a few different eerie environments here. He finds himself in an empty shopping mall that looks like it's right out of the early 90s. There's something warped and off about it. And then he ends up in a subway station. He enters into a dark room and he tries to turn around back to safety. The mall's just gone. It's, it's just a subway platform now. Again, very confusing and dreamlike. With all that said though, I've been your host James and I'll catch you, yes you specifically, in the next video. Thank you.